Hello everyone. In this video today I'm going to show you how to create a blog on WordPress, all of it for free. So the first step that you do is you visit the website wordpress.com. Make sure you don't go to wordpress.org. WordPress.org is used for the people that want to create a blog by downloading WordPress. the whole WordPress software and installing it on a server. So this is not what we want to do today. So we want to create a blog directly on WordPress and let WordPress handle all of the hosting for us. So on the website, as soon as you reach there, you just click on the Get Started Here button. And you will see the small little form that you have to fill up where you put in your WordPress na uh, blog name, a username, password, and email. So as I mentioned in my article on the website, myecommercetips.com, on how to create a blog, you would be here on this page after upon deciding what is going to be the name of your blog. So let's say, for example, I'm into worms. I'm a fisherman, and I know everything there is that I need to know about worms. And I decided to create a worms website. So let's say, for example, I take this chance and I say, you know what? I want to call it worms.wordpress.com. When you put it in, you'll notice that, obviously, it's taken. I mean, this is going to be a very big challenge for you to come up with a name here that is not already taken by WordPress, other users on WordPress. Um, so let's say, for example, I want to make created where I say worms for you. Oh, and it's available. So let's say, for example, I chose to use that domain name. And you'll notice here, for example, that you can choose, click on, use it for, you can buy wormsforyou.com, but it's $17 a year. We don't want that for this purpose of this uh, video. So we're saying, no, thank you. We want everything for free. That's what we love. So I chose the domain name, wormsforyou.wordpress.com. A username, you can put it the same thing. You don't have to change it. You put in a password. You put in your email. I created a temporary email for this, WordPress blog at myecommercetips.com. There you go. I can decide, I can check mark this option here and you can get some information from WordPress about the latest updates, features, themes, if you want. If you don't have time for that, you can just unsubscribe. If you have time to also read their fascinating terms, if not, you click on the sign up button. So here we go. They're telling me now to check my email to complete the registration. I'm going to go back here to my email account. We'll notice that I already received it. So now they say, please click the link to activate your blog. So just click that and you will be brought up to the back end of your WordPress. So the administration console. And there we go. It's all done. So let's just close this window for now. So everything has been confirmed. Everything is good. You can update your profile if you want. If not, you can just leave it as is. So everything has been set up. So let's go for worms for you dot wordpress.com what was the name again so worms for you sorry so worms for you dot wordpress.com always use a domain name that you can remember that's the first step which I mentioned in my article. So as you can see here, they launched the website with a default template for the blog, and it's very straightforward. So we're gonna log in into the back end system of the WordPress blog so that we can change some colors, change the title, uh, change the tagline. So just open up another window, paste your domain name and add wp-admin. And well, what that does, you simply go to the back end of the blog. What I mean by back end is it's a section on the website that only administrators or owners of the web of the blog are able to access. You would need a password, user, a username and password in order for you to log in. And from here you're able to control everything that you need about the blog. So this is where you're going to be posting your articles, upload pictures, uh, create pages, monitor your comments, feedback, create polls, install new extensions, plugins. So right now we're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to change, for example, the title of your blog. So you click on settings and I want to change the name of my blog from worms from you for you. I'm going to call it to worms for the world 
and I'm gonna change the tagline I know everything about worms you can also upload a picture icon if you want here and then you simply click on save changes there we go if you go back to the block you see the previous name was worms from you for you you refresh and now it says worm for the world now let's say for example you want to change the colors the theme so what you would do is click on appearance you click on themes and here you will have a list of other themes that are available some of them you have to pay some of them are free most of them are free you'll notice someone here like for example the delicious magazine one is for forty five dollars but for now we love only free stuff so let's say for example rusty grunge is something I like and I want to see the layout I click on the image itself I'm able to see a preview of how my blog is going to look like and I say you know what I like this I want to use this so you close this preview and you say activate upon activating that template it will enable it on your blog so you'll notice here if I go back to the front end of my blog and I see the home page and I refresh there you go everything has been already updated so as you can see it's very very easy to change the themes and you can play around a little bit more you can search also certain themes colors whatever you feel like you can go from the most popular the recently added so on and so forth so let's do this again let's say for example I like this one here Coraline I like it you know what that's good it looks very wormy for me so let's activate it there we go and I refresh that's it I hope this tutorial was very easy to follow and you enjoyed creating your first blog thank you